Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Underrail. It's It's been like a week and a half since I last actually played the game, so you're going to have to bear with me for a little bit while I figure out what it was I was trying to do. I think I was just exploring when we left when we last left off. Yeah, I think we we're just exploring. Um Oh! Yes! I wanted to go and do the free drones quest this episode. That's what I wanted to do. Okay. Before we get going, let's make sure we take things with us to help us against the the cans. We're going to want some acid bolts with us, but we'll take all of our acid bolts. We'll take them instead of our serrated bolts today. We've done the only one MK3 grenade, really. Let's go ahead and take a few more then. Actually, because the cans are probably armored, we'll take eight high explosive grenades, more of these instead. Shock bolts, nets, and incendiary bolts. This looks pretty good. Yeah, let's grab all this stuff with us. Oh, I guess we'll hold on to eight, eight of those. We also should be storing a bunch of equipment. Did I actually go looting and not remember to put stuff away? No, we just have a few extra bullets lying around on you, Tim. How about traps? Looks like we're good on traps. Let's make sure. We could probably stand to take two acid traps with us where we're going to, just in case we need them. All right, let's do it. So if I recall correctly, the free drone quest was somewhere in Upper Underrail. So let's take a quick peek at our quest log when we're out on this screen. And then we'll head on out to try to find that base and blow it the hell up. I'm sorry, the elevator. We're here to find the elevator. Where are you, free drones? Destroy the Protectorate Troop Elevator located in Epony Lab, Upper Underrail. It lies east of Core City, between it and Fort Apogee, and can be reached by following the Blue Metro Line. Your task is to infiltrate the lab, plant C4 charges on the lab's load-bearing pillars, and detonate them. Alright, let's do this. Oh, what, what am I doing? There's no reason for me to stealth here. Yeah, how's everyone doing? How's everyone doing? Again, it's been like a week and a half since I last recorded the game. Or played at least a week and a half. Might be more like two weeks. Today is April 30th, 2019, when I'm recording this part. And it'll probably go up a day or two from now. My my recording amount has dropped dramatically in this month. I've been having quite a few bad days, as it were. It's been tough to find time, or tough because of my health to record the game. Hopefully, though, maybe this weekend I'll have a lot of time to make up for that. Alright, some new places for us. Upper Underrail. We have not even been up here yet. Actually, we have been up here, but this is as far as you got. Make sure you have food for this trip. Alright, out we go into the new world. I think we explored most of this area already. Maybe we didn't. Let's see what's in the refrigerators. Anything in the cash register? We can't walk in this side. Oh, this must have been a little, like, value mark or something. There's even ATMs outside of it. Oh, someone actually has Charons in here, though. Looks like it hasn't been used in a while. Look at all the debris. All right, we need to follow the blue metro line. Let's head down this way and see if we can find out where that starts. Wow, look at all the crisscrossing tracks up here. My goodness, massive amounts of rail lines around. 
We know it was to the east, but I don't see a blue metro line anywhere, so I guess... Oh, this one must be green. Oh, here's the blue. Here's the blue here. Alright, let's follow this line and see where it takes us. It was blue, right? It wasn't the green one? Let's double check really quick. Yes, the blue metro line. Oh, we should we should not be walking so quickly. There might be traps around up here. Free drones, yeah, baby. That's what we're here to help complete some quests. A ladder. I wonder where that goes. Let's mark this down on the map. That might also lead to the same location. We'll have to see how heavily guarded the lab entrance is. I've never done this quest before, so I don't know how difficult this is going to be for us. A bandit. He's brown in color, so they're not hostile, but they're not friendly. Necessarily. We'll mark it down for future exploration and or elimination of these people. I guess maybe they're here just waiting for a train to come in to rob the people on it? Stealth enemies, apparently, either, or at least we're not detecting them. Looks like the blue line goes this way. Might as well get the whole area mapped out at least. Oh, hello. What's this? That's barbed wire. This might be it. Lunatics. This is not it. A different group of enemies is here. We can let them keep their base at the moment. It's been so long since I've stepped up into this area. I don't remember this area at all. Which is awesome. Well, actually, I remember it slightly. I know... I know the Chortists have their university somewhere up here. But that's all I remember. A barrel. Hello, barrel. We'll search you. Darn it! Nothing in it. Uh, looks like the green line goes that way. Maybe this is the entrance to the lab. Lots of free drones graffiti all over the place up here. I guess they're trying to unnerve the, uh, whatchamacallit, the, uh, the cans. Okay. Nothing in this area either. Lots of lights in the... This whole area is very empty. Quite the opposite of Lower Underrail, which is filled with creatures. I suppose there must be squads of uh, patrols that keep this area clear. Okay. Oops. This is not the right area either.
Well, then we keep following the blue line. I like not, not to get distracted. Otherwise, all I'll do with this video is just explore the different various bandit hideouts. <sighs> not to say anything wrong with that. I, do, I want We will do that anyway. But right now, I want to actually work on this quest. Huh. Where does this leave off? We're gonna have to get closer to the sign. Let's walk this way first and see where... Yeah, let's get all that mapped. I'm going to become visible briefly just to see where this took, took us. Actually, no. Let's keep stay invisible. I didn't think the tram would bring us directly to the place we're supposed to be, the Epony lot. Epine Lab? Let's see what the sign says this is. Oh, yes it did! So that's the lab there. Sorry, I'm not talking much because I thought there was, I thought for sure there was a stealth enemy in there, but we weren't attacked. All right, well, we walked over here. That wasn't so bad to walk. I don't know why I, I want to take a train. That's like, what, six screens? One, two, three, four. Yeah, six screens. That's not so bad. All right, let's step on into the lab. Oh my god, we're, just, we're gonna immediately be seen. Okay. Holy flipping crap. There's a guard right flipping there. And he's gonna be he's gonna be this knowledgeable about us, I think, when we walk back in there again. So it looks like we start with, with a fight immediately. It looks like we're fighting our way through the entirety of the lab rather than stealthing through it. Unless there's another entrance to that. Maybe the ladder? Maybe we don't have to walk in through the front door. Let's try the ladder. Oops, not this way, Tim. The ladder is quite some distance away. Sorry about this, everyone. I'd, if we're not supposed to walk in the front door, I'd rather not do that. And if for some reason I don't think we should have to fight our way in. Maybe we will, though. If the ladder doesn't... So we'll explore whatever the ladder is, has beneath it. And if there's nothing down there... Oh, well. That looks like we are going to have to burst in and just go in guns blazing. It seems a bit weird, Tim, to have this ladder lead to that lab. But maybe it does. Maybe there's a whole under area. Under, upper, under rail. <laughs> upper, under, under rail. Yes, let's go with that. Hey, I'm not seeing any other doors or entrances. Oh, that sucks. A guard right flipping there. Alright, well... Let's check this out. Locked, huh? That's no trouble for us. Lunatics! Trap! 
maps. Okay, so this is probably not going to bring us there, but we're here now, so let's clear this area out. like cutthroat. A garbage pistol. We, we, we can break down. Again, none of these people seem to have any decent equipment. But then again, they're psychers. So they don't need good equipment. Lunatics guarding. A pyromaniac. He's in a position where we won't easily be able to kill him. Not like the not like the last guy. Let's go ahead and be careful first off, and go ahead and equip your jackknife for this. Tim, not bad at all. Unfortunately, I see no way to get to the other lab from here. Ticks on theirs. Oh, uh oh, oh no. Alright, we both see him. A psychopath. I don't think I've ever seen a psychopath before. Someone else here. Let's activate our shield. Come on, Tim. Hit him! Oh my god! Three 79% chance, chances missed. There's your psychopath, and he is completely protected. The power man is also going to kill you. You're dead. You just, there's no way you're hitting this guy with that amount of defenses around him. Maybe we can get lucky. Oh, we're, we're doomed. We're doomed. Yep, we're, we're dead. Let's use some morphine to help us here and try to get away. We need to heal ourselves or we're gonna die. And we're just good. We just have to run. That's it. Just run. We have to avoid the these. But oh no, a nuker. It doesn't matter.
Nice. Good work, Tim. Keep moving. Hello, biolocation things. You will fade soon. We just have to keep moving until you go away. Your master is dead. Good. They faded. I'm here. Hello, Pyromaniac. How are you doing? Hope you like knives. You like fire? Have some more fire. All right, awesome. Woo! That was flipping close. Missing all those bolts really sucked. That sucked. All right, let's repair our gear. Yes, they both could use a repair. All right, what do you have on you, Mr. P Mr. Pyromaniac? Necessary bolts, that's not very good. Normal bolts, take that as well. So unfortunately, nothing here that we, we wanted to see. But we're here, so we might as well grab the stuff. A locked safe, not so safe for us, against us though. Nice electronics bits. Fusion cells, nothing on that corpse. So we've got the Psyker, I'm sorry, the Psychopath and the Nuker, and then we're out of here. Wow, holy MK3 weaponry. Most of this stuff, though, is not worth it. We can break down the weapon weaponry. Mr. Gunner, what do you have on you? Oh, we've already searched you. What is a psychopath? I've never seen a psychopath before. A decent dagger. We'll take the biotechnician's suit. I think we want one of them. And I'm overburdened or getting close to it, everyone. So I think I will dump some stuff back off at our home. But I'll do that off screen. When I come back, we'll be out in front of the lab and we'll be ready to walk into it. So give me a few seconds.
Holy crap, everyone. We were playing for like 35 minutes. It doesn't feel like we did anything at all. I'm back. Uh, as you can see, we're outside the Epony Lab again. And because I think it's going to be required, I'm ready for battle. I've got some acid bolts ready to help me deal with the cans, explosive grenades, etc, etc. I'm all set up. Let's go ahead and give this a go. Unfortunately, I'm, I'm probably going to have to come in here guns blazing. Which is not what I, how I wanted to do this, but it's what we're going to make the attempt to do. Alright. Let's get in there. Oh! Oh, we can actually slip past the heavy gunner. Oh, maybe we can actually avoid a battle. We just walked right past him. behind this guy and cutthroat him. Crap! We were seen. And he's totally gonna shoot us, so that sucks. Yes, that's what I wanted to do, game. I wanted to do that instead of shutting the door. Oh, we weren't seen. Oh, interesting. All right. Holy crap. I thought it was all over right at that point. Okay, we're taking whatever is inside this desk as well. How's our equipment? Because we just picked up a bunch of stuff from this gentleman on the ground as well. He has some garbage. All right, so hold the holy crap! Hello, everyone. <laughs> so let's let's drop off the boots. We don't need those. Uh, this is okay armor. It'll be worth something if we fully repair it. That can just be vendored. I want the shield cell. That will be worth a decent amount of money when fully repaired. That will be worth money as well if we repair it. Probably don't need any caltrops. I guess we'll take the bottles with us also. It's the Arbiton that's weighing you down. You, you know what? You don't really need this at the moment. Hold on to more. Keep your inventory clear. Oh, we have a door here also. And what am I using as a helmet? My critical chance. I hope we won't need it to scan for traps. Just in case, we probably should equip our other goggles. This must be the elevator that they're working on creating, on getting working. Some very nice, high-quality stuff. Nice! A hurricane part, which is actually a quality 111. We'll grab all this stuff. 111 Cyclone as well. Actually, the crowbar we don't need. That can stay here. Maybe we should leave and come back again. So we can store more stuff. But we still have an extra 30 pounds. And I have... I didn't eat any food before I walked in here. So let's do that now.
guy may be tricky to walk past. We can probably cut through that sniper. I wouldn't mind killing them, everyone in this base actually, to make up for who they killed earlier in the Free Drones base. Alright, let's take a look and see what we picked off this guy's corpse. Some decent armor. Oh, not bad actually. Armor penalty for- oh, but stealth decreased by 65. It's not bad though. We could use it if we ever think we're going to be in combat. Against something that uses heat or cold. That would be- that would be a good suit of armor actually. If we know for a fact we will absolutely enter combat. Some really decent equipment on that gentleman. We'll keep all of it at the moment. And I think we are indeed going to kill this guy from behind. Go back to go back home again and drop this stuff off. Yeah, I think we'll do that. This way we continue to loot everything in this place. And he's dead. We can't really carry a good deal of what he has on him because we just are overburdened. Or will become overburdened. The rest of this, I like, can take the armor. We can't take we can't take that weapon. All right, everyone, I'll be back again. I'm just going to drop this stuff off back at our base and sell some things if I can. Be right back, and I'll be in this location. Okay, everyone, I'm back. Stuff dropped off, made a bit of, bit of cash, selling some of the merchants as well. Let's see what is waiting for us in here. So we've left some things in these shelves, or I thought we did. He has nothing else. I think I... Well, actually, let's take the, take the gun. Probably break down the sledgehammer while we're here. Alright, Tim, not bad. So far, you've cleared out the initial guards walking around. I don't know how we're supposed to sneak past the. Oh, this guy, he's becoming aware. I don't know if we'll be able to walk straight past him without him seeing us. We can shock bolt him. And maybe kill him that way. I don't think it'll make much noise. Let's try. We missed, of course. Better kill him, Tim. You didn't. Alright, that's it. The alarm's going off then. Of course I would shut the door. That's exactly what I wanted to do, game. Okay, 
No gunfire, so maybe no one knows what just happened here. That's some good armor. Weighs a ton, though. 14 pounds. They actually have some decent weaponry. Okay, so see, since he didn't shoot his guns, we can probably assume that no one knows we're here. Continue to take all the things we find. It might prove useful to us later on. Some decent quality things are around here. That's a lot of weight, Tim, for that metal. But we'll bring it back with us. I don't like that there's this gate here like this. Oops. Probably destroy that, but then it, everyone's gonna know we're here. Or at least be alerted to us. I think we won't have a choice but to shoot it. I don't see a way for us to get past it. Yeah, okay. We're gonna destroy this, and why not? We'll finally start the, the fight that I've been trying to avoid. Kidding me. A shame we don't have any devices we can just roll out into the hallway to look at that camera, similar to what Garrett actually had with the mechanical eyes. Too late, we have to do this. Okay, that's, this is it. It's combat time. Of course, we wouldn't be missing one the final time. Send a electrical bolt. Tangled him. Let's move away. There's another person. Oh crap! There's the alarm going off. We expected this, unfortunately. Heavy gunner, huh? Let's flashbang. some damage to him, but not as much as I would have liked. Try to get around the corner. Oh! Oh, God! Hello! We are dead. We are doomed.
yeah, we're we're dead. <laughs> Okay, so that's- so we can't get seen, or we, or we have to keep killing them all individually, one by one. That sucks. That's gonna make this extraordinarily difficult. Those security cameras are impossible for me to sneak past. Alright, we have to re-kill this guy again. We are using my crit goggles, at least. It's a lot of shots, Tim. You'll probably miss- Yep, you'll probably miss at least one of them. Uh-oh. Did he run away? He did not. Incapacitated, thank goodness. That means he won't get any shots off. Oh, this is gonna be tricky if I can't get seen whatsoever. How's my equipment? Let's repair our dagger. God, that is there's so many of them. There's no way we can we can win if we get detected. Actually, we might win if we, even if we're detected, but I was right in the middle of everyone there. I hate this camera. see it from this far away and to see what direction it's facing. Okay, weren't detected. One camera destroyed. So the switches must all be alarms. That gentleman we won't be able to, to knife. He doesn't stop moving. I want to see where the, if the sniper walks back this way. Oops, there's a security camera down there as well. Okay, he does. We know there's a camera around this corner also. Is our key item. There we go. Okay, so that will wait till this guy goes. One of them done. We have three more to somehow place. Looks like they're not going to even detect it.
my plan will be to knife and kill the assassin to the uh, sniper when he walks back here. But I don't want this guy to see me, so I'm going to have to wait until he walks back. Normally, I'd count the seconds. Yeah, if I move up and attack this guy now, it's not going to work for me. This sucks. I don't like that I don't know where the other guard is located. We can't get either box, can we? the sentinel. Let's see if this guy comes out soon. And of course he won't. Of course he won't. Uh, it's to the point now where this I don't like this. We can't see the sentinel. Really okay, yeah, that would have been a mistake. Okay. Actually we could have we could have killed him. I'd love to kill the Sentinel, but we simply cannot do that. More metal place. We don't need those, though. I would like to take the crossbow, if we could. Pneumatic Monsoon Crossbow. Lower level. Let's check what's back here. Oh, this is a weapon storage. Interesting. Some MK3 grenades. Some amazing uh, ballistic panel for armor. And some more weapon parts. Belt. We still have plenty of inventory space. We don't need those weapons. We can keep them here at the moment. You know we're going to do it. Some good armor on him, actually. We'll take that. A laser pistol. Storage key card for the Epony Lab. Very nice. We're probably almost overburdened at this point. Let's leave those metal plates here since we're not going to need them. Yeah, 25 pounds. Those can stay. The switches must all be alarms, so we're not going to throw any of them. Ooh, hello. What crawled out of there, I wonder? can't hack this. We don't have any hacking skills, so we'll just leave, have to leave that. There's nothing else here that I can interact with. Let's stealth. So we can probably enter through that door. I 
I don't know where that sniper is. I don't want to accidentally bump into him when I walk out of here. So we're just going to wait. He's probably down here. I don't want... Again, I really don't want to bump into him like I did when, when I bumped into that one patrolling guard when I fought, um... Baylor. Yes, he was there. I'd still like to kill him if I could. Make one more attempt to kill the sniper. If this guy if this guy just walks back and the sniper walks out here, we can kill him quickly. Since I don't think the enemy reacts to seeing dead bodies at all. Come on, sniper, walk down here. I think we'll make the attempt. Let's try it. Yes, excellent. soon decide what you want to keep and what you want to throw away. Uh, let's just keep the weapons and what have you, Tim. Don't do any more fiddling. We, we've only found one load-bearing column so far. This is going to take a while to find everything that we need, isn't it? Oh! With that guy dead... Will the camera... Let's see if the camera actually activates. I don't think it will any longer. We killed the guy. Oops. Nope. Okay. Crap. Well, that sucks. Darn it! I don't have any hacking, so I can't disable the security cameras. If I destroy the cameras, then that will alert everyone. But I think we'll I think we'll do just that. We'll destroy this camera. So far, so good. Still have not been detected. Other than the one time which we, the whole base got alerted to us and killed us. But otherwise, we're doing pretty well this time. Thank goodness for Cutthroat. That's making this so easy. For a while, I was worried that I wasted all those points on Cutthroat. Because of how limited use it is. Like, we, we have not used it that much. But holy crap, is it ever proving useful here. of some sort over there. A bunch of different biological things here. My goodness, if you didn't have stealth... If you did not have stealth, holy crap, would this have been difficult. But to be fair, I guess you would build your character a lot different if you if you uh, did not have stealth. You'd be taking he much heavier armor, probably. I'm not walking in there. We'll take too much damage from the toxic stuff. There's another low bearing column. We need this one destroyed.
We are badly chilled. Let's drop all this garbage off. In this room. All the stuff we're never gonna use. We wait for this chilling effect to expire. Okay, so we don't need any of these organs. This weighs us down a ton. And while I'm waiting another two minutes, let's figure out what else I don't want to keep. I don't need you. We can just carry the rest of this stuff out, I suppose. We can craft some weaponry with it, eventually. I don't think we'll need the acid collector, though. Do I really need this many advanced health cycles? I don't think we do. Actually, let's just leave the normal health cycles behind. We'll grab the advanced ones instead. We'll have the detection food, which now I don't require this as much. Let's wait the 30 some odd seconds. Yeah, because we're, we're down a significant amount of hit points thanks to losing five con whole con points of constitution. So two comms are done. We're going to have to walk down here. We're going to have to do that, I think. There's probably one up here where the Dreadnought was. Probably another one down in here somewhere. Oh, I see. We're also going to collapse the entire structure. Okay, wow, we were down 140-something hit points. Perfect. Alright, let's try shooting. I'm so glad that the cameras can also be destroyed. That makes it so much easier for us. Can we ambush this guy? If we put a trap here and he walks on it, that will root him. We can then light him up with shock bolts. I think we'll do that. Let's make sure he'll step at this spot. That camera, Tim. Better be fast at this. By the way, Tim, if you don't stun him... If you don't stun him, this is over for you. Oh my god, look at those boots. Oh, that would have hurt. I think everyone will... Well, we, we can keep going. Hold on. These must all be individual people's rooms.
We can probably round the corner very quickly once that camera is not facing us. It turned red. But no one is coming. I'm used to enemies automatically knowing where we are. I guess without anyone actually watching, they'll still turn red to detect us automatically, but there's no one watching the cameras, so nothing else will happen. Wow, that was fast. Oh, perfect. Oh, it was in here. All right, then. We don't need to explore any... The rest of the lab, do we? Maybe we still will do so? To see if there's any other goodies in this place. Tychrome bars, those would be nice to have. It's some sort of advertisement or a guide for people visiting Upper Underrail. Unfortunately, it's partially destroyed, but by the looks of it, one used to be able to have a lot of fun there. We can just barely take that. Let's grab it. Kill those two. We could just throw a grenade in there. I'm so glad I killed this sentinel. Holy crap. So we're we're done. We can just get out of here. But I want to see what else is around. We may be able to walk straight across that guard's vision and see what's on the other side, assuming that door's not locked. Ha! We could turn off all the power to this facility, I suppose, but that's likely to get the guard to walk in here. There's no reason to do that, there's nothing even in this place. What would you do through the guard and you saw the doors just opening and shutting automatically on you, like that? Oh crap! We have another- I thought it was just four! It's actually a- we need to put a fifth one down here too, don't we?
Oh, I don't see how we're doing this without killing that. How can we do this? Woo! Holy crap! All right! All the charges are set. Wow, that was really flipping close. I have no idea how we would have destroyed that had we had to fight it. We only have a few acid rounds. We would have had to use our bolts and them to probably win. Okay. I don't think we want to be in the lab when we detonate it. Let's walk outside and do so. We are too far away from the charges, so we at least probably have to be in the lab. A part of me is act actually, I'm curious as to what happened. The game's safe, so if we die, we may, we may walk downstairs. We can just reload. Let's see. Oh, all right. I see a bunch of rubble in the way now. All right. Hopefully the whole thing has been collapsed on top of them. This will set the protector right back some significant amount of time. Hopefully for maybe, uh, if not months, then maybe years to delay them from building this elevator. If they ever are able to do so again. And we weren't even detected, thank goodness. Everyone, so I guess I'll stop here. I'm going to do some more stuff back at our, our home, do some more inventory management. When I come back, I will be in Core City. I will see everyone then. Take care, everyone, and thanks for watching.